Today, he is Director of Program Development for the Fusion Performance Group, a company that develops training courses for the financial industry on how to increase sales and improve customer service relationships. But back in 1984 at the Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, Kevin Neufeld was part of Canada's gold medal winning men's eight rowing team. In part one of a two-part interview, Kevin shares his experiences leading up to the games and the mind-blowing experience once they arrived in Los Angeles. Well, it's pretty intense. You know, as you can imagine, you're, you know, you're trying to be the best in the world at something. So we would typically train 14 times a week. Usually we would have, uh, we'd try to get one day off. So the rest of the workouts would, sometimes you'd triple up. Most of the times it would be two workouts a day. And in the winter you'd do a combination of, you know, different cross training, running or swimming, a lot of weights, a lot of uh, rolling on ergometers, and then, uh, obviously, you know, still getting on the water. You know, some mornings it'd be pretty ugly. You know, it'd be dark and you'd have to chip a little sheet ice around the dock to actually put your boat in because it's that cold and it's windy and the, you know, waves are kicking up. And, you know, it's not fun. And, you know, I always like to say, we, you know, we weren't stupid people. We realized that this was, <laughs> we had better things to do. We'd rather be in bed like most people. But, you know, the goal was, subjected to the task at hand so you just said well my desire to do well and perform well in the summer you know supersedes the uh, uncomfort that I'm experiencing right now so, you know, we always ran with the idea that you know the races the big races are won in the middle of the winter it's putting in that little extra on those days where nobody else would everybody works hard leading up to the Olympics it's in the middle of winter when nobody's watching and it's raining and you haven't done that last workout, but you know you need to. It's the discipline to go out and do that. And yeah, you do have to play a few mind games to get yourself to do that. But that's really what any sport where you're pushing your body is all about. Your body says no and you're tricking it to keep going. Well, it was a little surreal because we were a young crew. Canada had not typically done well at the Olympic level. Uh, and so we didn't really have any role models to, to follow. And uh, nobody had ever been to an Olympics. Uh, I don't even think I'd watched the Olympics on TV. You know, it was all very bizarre because there's tons of security and it's just such a big deal. And rowing, especially at that time, was a pretty unknown sport, and pretty low profile. So all the all the hoopla and the celebrity of it all was uh, it was pretty unusual. You know, if you weren't careful, it could really freak you out. And you got to remember, we're used to you know paying our own way and four guys sleeping in one hotel room in the Super 8 and you're, you know, finding the best buffet in town because, you you know, you need to make your food do dollar go as far as you can. So we're not totally not used to having things paid for and having people there for you. to. And so that was just mind-blowing. In L.A., we, we stayed in the Santa Barbara. They had another village, a separate village from the main one in L.A., and that was just for the the rowers and the canoers. They called it the country club. Beautiful, beautiful uh, facility. And all the security are just so friendly and they're like wanting your autograph and you're like, what is this all about? And you walk into the cafeteria and there's, what do you want? You want steak, you want spaghetti, you want whatever you want. It's there. And again, totally foreign to us. And that was part of the challenge was staying disciplined enough to go, okay, let's not get caught up in all this because you could totally lose your focus if you weren't careful. Don't miss part two of this interview next week when Kevin recalls the gold medal winning race and the satisfaction at beating their main rivals, the United States.